But first, new information on that subway train derailment in Chelsea that led to service delays and changes throughout the day. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. And I'm Joe Torres. Police tonight arrested and charged a 30-year-old man from the Bronx. He's accused of throwing construction debris on the subway track this morning, which led to the derailment. Fortunately, no one was seriously hurt. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang joins us from the scene in Chelsea tonight. Lucy? Well, Sandra and Joe, we can hear jackhammers below us. The race is on to fix the tracks after a train derails early this morning. What should have been an easy Sunday ride turned into a transit mess when heavy construction metal was thrown onto the tracks. It took four men to haul a generator into the 14th Street subway station in Chelsea, and this is just the beginning of a very long night after a northbound A train derailed Sunday morning. Officials believe someone threw what's called a D plate onto the tracks as the train was pulling into the station. That's D, like derailment. A D plate is a heavy 30 pound piece of metal which secures the rails to the ties. In this case, it sent the subway car right off the rails. The heroic crew of that train were able to stop the train. We're told 134 passengers were safely evacuated, but that singular act of sabotage left an expensive mess behind. You can see how the metal was peeled back on the car. Authorities add several hundred feet of the third rail were destroyed, at least four structural columns damaged, and the list continues. So we have track components, including the track ties, the plates, the clips, the rails themselves. We have signal damage, we have two stop motors, those are the devices that drive the arms up and down. Police have now charged this 30-year-old homeless man, Demetrius Harvard. We're told eyewitnesses reported seeing him throw construction debris onto the tracks. All this leaving riders trying to find another route home. It's very frightening. Some of these very disturbed people, and you see bizarre, terrifying behavior. So the latest update from the transit system, they hope to have the A line up and running by 5 a.m. Well in time for the Monday morning commute.